Hey there! Today we're going to be working on some real easy DIY uh, candle decor using supplies from Dollar Tree. But first, welcome to my channel. My name is Linda and if this is your first time here and you don't want to miss out on any further DIY craft videos from me, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and notification down below for future updates from my channel, Faithchick 777s DIY by Design. Now let's get started. Um, easy, easy project today. I think it's really kind of fun. So what you're going to need is a couple of these white pillar candles. We should all have at least a dozen of these in our stash because they seem to be a staple for holidays for uh, decorating. Um, if you can find them, you're going to need some of these uh, wood stickers, the hearts. Okay, package of those. You're going to need, if you want, this is your choice, uh, candle holders. Uh, they have like these in our store, two different designs. I'm going to use the other design. Or if you want to use like the glass candle holder, it's got a smaller bottom. You would kind of need to E6000 it. Um, use the E6000 glue. If you use just the plain glass one, this glue and glue it to the bottom because it's not stable enough just to sit on top. Okay, so you, if you use just the regular ones that Dollar Tree has, E6000, you can get this at Walmart, a little over $2, um, and glue the holder to the bottom of the candle. Of course, you don't have to use a candle uh, holder at all. Um, you're also going to need some of these from Dollar Tree. They look like tiny little white rocks. They have different colors, but I'm going to go with the white, as well as a little bag of the kind of it's white sand. Right? You're going to need a Mod Podge. Right, some twine. Um, Dollar Tree has this. I like this twine because it's thicker, the one in the roll. But you can get the one where you they look like this, and it's three per package. But um, it's thinner. Some spots you get really thick, and in some spots you get really, really thin. So it's a lesser quality, but I do like to use this on a lot of items. But sometimes when I just really want that decorative look, I go for, of course, the thicker uh, jute. And then you're going to need a foam brush you can find at Dollar Tree. I am actually going to use this pounce brush, um, and you can find these at Walmart, very cheap. And um, if you decide to go with the candle holder, I am going to, or have already done, uh, ahead of time is I spray painted mine because I didn't really want the silver color. Um, and what I use is uh, Rust-Oleum from Walmart. It's the Ultra Matte. It's like very like 99.9% .9 close to a chalk paint. You can buy the chalked can of spray paint. It's called chalked. It runs $7 a can. But by getting this Rust-Oleum Ultra Matte, it's like $3.97. So half the cost. Same effect. Or if you want even cheaper than that, you can just go for the like 97 cent dollar can, but make sure it's flat if you kind of want the farmhouse look that we're going to go for today. All right, and the other last option, if you don't want to spray paint and you have like this Waverly brand white chalk paint and you want to just paint them by hand with your foam brush, that's certainly your choice as well. Okay, so let's get started. First, easy, oh, and you're also going to need some tape, and I believe Dollar Tree has this as well. Just a little painter's tape. We're going to tape off. I'm going to go almost about three quarters up on this. We're just going to tape it around. Tape it off so we get a nice clean edge when we're done. So uh, I'm going to go a little bit, little bit more than that. Right about there, I think. That'll look nice. Get it on nice and straight. You're going to do the same thing to the other jar, other jar, other candle. Let's get that straight. I'm just going to kind of line them up so they're both about the same. There we go. Just like that. And I overshot the tape. Guess I didn't need that much, but what are you going to do? Move it up there. Okay. Now, first thing is Mod Podge and your foam brush. And what we're going to do is we're going to Mod Podge down below this tape line, okay? And we want it on fairly thick. 
let's get some on a plate. Oh, and before I forget, you're also going to need some ribbon from Dollar Tree. And they have this really cute, almost burlap with the red hearts on it. Or they also have this really cute red and white plaid. So your choice. I'm going to go with the burlap and the red hearts to kind of further bring in the twine. And then I'm going to use the unpainted wood hearts um, from this pack. So it all kind of matches together. All right. I was staring right at it and I'm like, oh, I forgot to tell you guys that. All right. So I'm just going to get a little bit of this Mod Podge on a plate. As again, as I said, very um, thick on here. And once we start using and pouring, you know, the rock and the sand, um, a paper plate or something underneath, of course, to catch the excess. I have this really large, like, drip pan, a craft drip, uh, drip pan. So um, anything that falls into it, and then you pour it out of the little hole and back into your container. And you can get these at most craft stores. Um, but, you know, paper plate works just fine, and it's nice and cheap, right? So really thick. Thick, like I said, with the Mod Podge. Got a spot in there. Okay, I'm just gonna a little bit more. And it doesn't matter if you pounce it on or do like I'm doing. Quite frankly, I don't know why I'm doing this way, but um, I am. But you can just paint it on easily, too. I'm just so used to, when I'm doing other crafts, I like texture my projects. I'm just so used to pouncing it on. And you don't really need it on the bottom. I'm just trying to get it as close to the edge as I can. Okay, and I believe I got it pretty darn thick. I'm going to look around for some thin spots. There's one right there. Pretty good. And what we're going to start with first is the bigger of the two bags, which is the tiny little rocks. Now you've got a little working time, but you know Mod Podge is Mod Podge. Depending on your temperature, you might want to move fast or maybe do this in sections. And you're basically just going to kind of Pour the rock on. It's not going to look real, um, you know, it's going to be real sparse looking. That's okay. That's why we have the sand. I'm actually going to, there we go. And it's going to kind of fall on and off. That's okay. Some will stick. Promise. This is why you want it on really thick, the Mod Podge. Just trying to fill it in a little bit here and there. And if you need to, you can go back in just kind of with some Mod Podge. Okay, I've got enough on there, and yes, some will continue to fall. That's the way it's going to work, right? But you want just enough on there to at least, at least look thick enough in areas and not real sparse. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit more Mod Podge right in here. Nice and thick with your Mod Podge. The thicker you are, the better it'll hold. Ugly rock doesn't match. Okay, now we're going to go in because we're getting down there and we're going to go in and dump with our sand and fill in the rest of the spots. We're going to fill in our spots because it looks real sparse and not pretty, right? So we're going to fill in our spots with our sand. Just I would just go nice and thick over it. 
dump it off nice and thick. I did this before um, a couple years ago this method and wrapped the jute twine I did white jute twine around it it was really pretty because I did um, we live on Oregon coast and I did real like went to you know local store it's gonna sell all the beachy stuff and got starfish and attached to it and it was so pretty because it looked kind of beachy so that's an idea for you for summertime and then of course once this is done you just want to let it set and dry okay and then we're going to do the same thing to the other one I'm going to do it off camera so you know you don't have to watch this method again because guess what you just seen it <laughs> once that sand dries on here it helps bind the rocks okay because I know as we're pouring the rocks on they're falling off but you know what the what's the deal because we're working on a rounded surface that glue still wet you're pouring the rock on so as you turn it automatically it's gonna fall off so you just want to go gently and slow getting your rocks on pour your sand on and then this is all set once the rocks or the sand is in there because it just helps bind and keep those rocks on there um, so and I if you're not if you're gonna just use this decorative and not burn it then yeah maybe you could get like a spray sealer if you want to seal that there's really not hardly any fallout of this at all I'm shaking it really hard and um, there's a granule okay there's no fallout on this so but if you wanted to and you weren't going to burn this um, if you do burn this I probably wouldn't go down below our decorative area okay I would just a little bit burn because I don't know with Mod Podge next to a flame inside burning getting the glass hot mm, decorative only would be my suggestion okay so let's go ahead and peel off this tape so we get our nice fine line see not hardly even any is falling off peeling the tape off it is nice and set and I think I let it set about half hour 45 minutes okay so let's go on to our next step we're gonna bring in our twine I'm gonna pick like my you know favoritest front side we'll go right in here I'm gonna add a tiny bit of hot glue I'm only gonna glue where I start and where I end right up against that line with the hot glue push that twine in there and then I'm gonna wrap it about ten times around this candle so it gets us a nice thick I'm gonna kind of almost double as I go over that one end you don't really need to because it'll kind of get hidden but just kind of over it a little bit coming back around going on our third here how fast I can wrap four five six seven eight nine and ten okay ten wraps is good but of course you know what you can choose how many times you want to go around okay cut off a little piece there and then I'm gonna bring it down and I ended I cut it off just about right where the other one was started and I'm gonna make sure I kinda push this all down all this twine down and condensed so it's not real um, spacey looks all nice and tight up against that candle I'm just gonna bring that down a little bit and I'm gonna add some glue just right that way the end isn't on top in case something is seen however you decorate it you might tend to see the top a little bit um, after we put our bows and things on okay so this is what we've got 
All right, and then I'm going to come in. I've decided to go ahead and I'm going to use a combination of this red and white twine, or not twine, red and white ribbon, and a few pieces of the burlap with the hearts on it. Um, I am not privy to how stark white it is. You might want it stark white to match the whiteness at the bottom and by all means leave it that way. But I want to darken it a little bit. So a way to darken this a little bit is to um, take like a tea bag, mix it in just a, dunk it in just a tiny bit of hot, hot water, you know, like a fourth of a cup, maybe an eighth of a cup, tea bag, dunk it in, and then you can take like a paintbrush and paint the tea on and sort of stain this, or you can dip it in through uh, the tea and I maybe start that first before you go to do your candle so then by the time you're done it's pretty well dry you can of course take a hair dryer to it but if you want to stain it I would do definitely a tea bag hot water stain your ribbon with that by dunking it or painting it on and then let it air dry or a blow dryer once again twice the instructions and then also I am not real privy to the nice bright foil um, sides. So I've got a piece cut here. I have stained it with the tea. I want you to see the difference here. I just kind of brushed it on and then let it dry. Um, it gets really wet but as you blow dry it um, you can, can kind of you know straighten it out right but you can see the difference. Let's bring this down a little bit. Oop, wrong way. There's the white in there. It's just a subtle difference, but this is more going to um, match with the twine, but still have a little bit of brightness to go with the white rock and sand. Okay. Now, like I said, I'm not real privy to that shiny. You can literally just kind of grab the end and peel it off, and it's going to fray it, and it's going to give me more of that farmhouse look I'm looking for. And when it frays, if you've watched my other videos before, I don't mind that the strings are still hanging off. I love it. Let me bring this back up a little bit. Again, just lends to that farmhouse feel. Now I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to go up a little bit higher, and we're going to tie it in a bow. one already made to the side here to speed up the video so I'm kind of making sure that my loops are just yep about the same length all right so we've got that and then we've got two of our little um, heart pieces. I just cut off enough for two little tails with three hearts on it it already is kind of fray anyway this kind of burlap stuff so um, you don't have to do much to it it just kind of naturally frays on its own I'm just going to kind of cut a little point at the top Okay, I'm going to just kind of hot glue it together just a little bit, like that, and then we can further just kind of even that off. So this is what we've got. We're going to come to the front where we've got that little piece kind of tailing over there, a little piece of twine. We're going to add this little piece here. Super cute already. Then we're going to add our stained red and white trim right over the top of that so it's hidden. Oh, isn't that adorable and easy? Easy. And if you don't use too much of this, or like if you don't use the red and the white heart or the hearts and you just use like this red and white it can stay out longer than Valentine's if you want or if you don't use too much glue just a little dot you can easily pop that stuff back off um, and then reuse with some other decoration and now I'm gonna add my heart you can add it where you want I'm gonna kind of do um, an angle I've got my other one this way so I'm gonna take it this way and angle it on just a little bit there just a little pop of glue angling it on just like that. 
super cute. Okay, and then I think I'm going to go ahead and just a little bit, maybe a half inch off bottom of this, fray it a little more. Super, super cute. Oh, I love it. Look at that. And easy. I'm going to change camera view here so you can see what it looks like from the front. Okay, so here are our candles from the front view. Super adorable. Um, I wanted to show you, remember we discussed at the beginning, if you chose to purchase candle holders as well from Dollar Tree, I want to give you an idea of what those would look like. I'm going to do just one there because I was thinking it would be a really sweet idea if you did like four candlesticks, or yes, and then two holders, across the center of your table and you have them at varying height so you've got too high too low would make a really sweet center table idea um, now if you wanted to forego here's another idea for you the candle holders you didn't want them at all but you want a little something down there so both candle holders Dollar Tree would cost you two dollars they have these really thin whitewash boards at Walmart in their craft section. They are $2 and I believe 47 cents or 74 cents. Not that much more for some change. These would look really pretty just sitting on a whitewashed board. Simple. Let me bring my camera down a little bit to show you that. Really pretty just doing that and you could add a little more to that if you want. And it would even look pretty if you had all of them on there, right? Oh, just gorgeous. All right, so stay tuned. I have some further upcoming DIY Valentine craft videos, another of them which um, I'm planning in my head to be a Dollar Tree uh, DIY, and the other one isn't, and I think they are both going to be adorable. And I have all my social media links down below. Come follow me on my blog and especially on Instagram because I love to post there and I'm trying to build that up. And come follow me on Pinterest. I thank you for sharing your time with me and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.